Before we start off, can we all agree on one thing? That Japan are absolute beasts when it comes to the entertainment industry. Of course, I'm referring to the biggest cultural component that is anime. We all love anime, and that's a fact. But what if I told you that some of these anime and manga series are so powerful that they literally convince super legends and icons to do something so shocking and unexpected? You would definitely say that's crazy, right? But that's something we're gonna get to later on in this video. I'm telling you, it's absolutely insane, man. But first, why are Japan guaranteed to win the Olympics 2024? Once again, the famous multi-sport event known as the Olympics is finally making a return in Paris this summer. We're talking about 329 events held across two weeks. One of these events includes 16 men's football teams across four groups. Japan will participate in Group D of the proceedings, eventually aiming all the way to a gold medal. The question brought forward by many is, how will the Japanese manage such a feat? Well, there are a number of ways this can happen. For one, Japan could, let's say, smash the subscribe button, am I right? Come on, click it. This way, you will not, I repeat, you will not miss videos from football holics. We're just mad drunk about football, and if you are too, smash that button. But anyway, back to the Olympics and how Japan can clinch a first ever gold medal. It's worth mentioning that the Japanese have in fact seen Olympic success in the past, coming from 1964, where they won bronze after beating the likes of Argentina, France, and Mexico. Speaking of history, the J-League is the hub of Japanese football development, with every player on Oiwa Go's roster having come through a J-League club ahead of their professional careers. Notable stars include Soda Kawaski of Kyoto Sanga FC and Takai Koda of Kawasaki Frontale. Since its establishment in 1993, the J-League has become somewhat of a mass factory when it comes to talent production. Within the older generation, Shinji Kagawa and Hiratoshi Nakata are some of the most successful players to make it in Europe, having started at the J-League. Kagawa began his career at Cerezo Osaka before moving on to clubs such as Manchester United and Borussia Dortmund. Hiratoshi Nakata started off at Shonen Belmare before taking his talents to Italy, where he played for AS Roma and Fiorentina. Heck, even going as far as to be nominated in the 98, 99, and 01 Balloon d'Or. He was even named by Pele in the FIFA 100. Moreover, the creation of the league attracted some of the biggest names in Europe at the time. The likes of Gary Lineker and famous Brazilian icon Zico would spend the latter years of their careers playing for Nagoya Krampus and Kashima Antlers respectively. In fact, Zico had actually come out of retirement to help the Kashima Antlers become the first team to win the J-League, which was their first mark of domination on the domestic stage. The Kashima Antlers is one of the most successful clubs in Japan, having won the J-League a record eight times, the Emperor Cup five times, and the AFC Champion League once. Furthermore, it is no coincidence that the Japanese managed to win the Asian Cup literally the same year of the league's inaugural season, beating the Saudis one goal to zero. The league's development would go on to achieve substantial success, attracting more big names in the likes of Andres Iniesta, who repped Vissel Kobe, scoring a total of 114 goals and winning the league, the Emperor Cup as well as the Japanese Super Cup. Before him, Cameron's Patrick Mboma was one of the deadliest strikers in the early 2000s and late 90s. His performance in the 2000 Sydney Winter Olympics earned him a gold medal as well as a phenomenal debut in the J-League, where he bagged 29 goals in 34 games. Right from the other side of the pitch, Defender Guido Buchwald spent 11 seasons in the Bundesliga before his individual success in the J-League. In 1995-1996, he was named in the J-League Best 11 as a defender for the Urawa Red Diamonds. Perhaps one of the biggest recruitments of the J-League was Fernando Torres. The Spanish forward was part of the golden generation that achieved subsequent domination in both Euro 2008 and 2012, as well as the 2010 World Cup. A Champions League winner, a two-times Europa League winner, a two-times European Championship winner, a World Cup winner, and a man who scored well over 200 goals. 
what inspired him to become a footballer of this caliber? An anime titled Captain Tsubasa, one of the most popular anime series, sold well over 90 million copies worldwide and inspired Fernando Torres to become a footballer. I remember when I was a kid, everyone was talking about this cartoon about football. Captain Tsubasa it was called. I started playing football because of this, and my brother forced me since I loved the cartoon. Oiwa Go is the manager taking charge of the Blue Samurais this summer. In his 18-man squad, he has opted for no overage players and has stuck solely with players 23 years old and under. We have pride and confidence as Asian champions. We're not going for the experience. We're going to win a medal and the players understand the responsibility. Though the prospect of advancing in a group with Mali, Israel, and Paraguay seems attainable, it'll be the knockout stages where Japan will need to be convincing. However, without the likes of Takefusa Kubo, arguably one of their brightest talents, it'll prove to be a difficult task. On top of that, Japan had initially managed to secure the services of Wataru Endo. However, in the grand scheme of things, it always seemed a long shot since the midfielder plays for Liverpool in the Premier League. Coach Oiwa Go will also be without FC Tokyo attacker Matsuki Kuryu, Japan's current wonder kid and the reigning AFC Youth Player of the Year. Instead, Go will have to rely on the other talent at his disposal. At his young age, 22-year-old defender Soto Kawasaki is a Japanese prospect who has undoubtedly become one of his best players. His defensive prowess has been one of the guiding factors in sealing a 13th place finish for Kyoto Sanga FC, the club's best in the division since 2009. 19-year-old Takai Koda is a player that draws comparison to Europe's wonder kids in Kabi Mainu and Rico Lewis due to his wise beyond years football IQ. He's gained recognition as one of Japan's most talented young players, playing well over 1,500 minutes of football. A center back who specializes in strength, in-game intelligence, as well as superb recovery speed, the youngster was instrumental in his side's victory over Vissel Kobe, grinding out a clean sheet as his team won the Japanese Super Cup back in February. With that said, although the manager has lost major star power as clubs refuse to let players participate in the Olympics, there's no doubt Japan can shake things up and deliver come July 26th. After all, they have youngsters with immense experience playing in the J-League, a tier that has in fact gained recognition in recent years for producing talented footballers. Karo Mitoma, a Brighton, World Cup hero Ritsu Doan, Takehiro Tomiyasu, and Takumi Minamino, to name a few. I mean, just look at this kid gliding against Pep Guardiola's Man City. What do you think? Does Japan have a chance? <laughs> Heck, even the slightest of chances? Let us know in the comments down below.